could move it one over. Um, if we moved it one over, we could add a, an extra slot. Or even better than that, we could put it on the other side and open this up. I think that's probably warranted. Because um, if we don't do this, we, I think we're going to get choked on uh, uh, auto dispenser availability for sweeping. And sweeping is going to be, oh dear, important. That's not right. So let's uh, do that. People are called them. <laughs> oh, the shade. The shade poison eater. You better watch out because a lot of my audience is American, right? But my YouTube uh, uh, analytics say that a lot of the viewership is American. So play nice. Play nice with my American friends. Yeah. And if you're from America, thank you for, uh, for watching. <laughs> Don't take it too seriously. Uh, no, I, my my position on pineapple and pizza. If this isn't too controversial, maybe I'll get I'm going to get banned from Italy. Um, I, I um, I can eat it. Let's put it that way. I I'd never choose it, but if you gave me a pizza with pineapple on it, I'd just eat it. I I couldn't be bothered to remove it. Um. <laughs> Outside Italy. There you go. So po Poison Eater has, has banned you from Italy if you're um, if you want the pineapple. Sorry, it's 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 been been decreed. Uh, yeah, it's sensible. Than good, 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 good. Oh now, what's going on here? Oh, no, this is not good. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, right, now I forgot this. See, this is, is this what I set up? I, forgot, I set this up and then forgot about it. Um, but, 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 but we've, we've managed to break this. How have we got... Okay, we've managed to get water in the petroleum run the other way around. Um, we can fix this from below, I think. Let's uh, fix that. The... okay. We'll, uh, we'll not worry about those. Even though they're a, they're a bit damaged, a large life. Oh, th this is starting to turn for a complicated question. Slice of pineapple, cover it with cheese and tomatoes. I mean, that sounds horrible. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know what the Italians will think of that, but I, I don't think I can condone putting that on pineapple. That sounds awful. Ugh. Yeah, that doesn't mix, right? I mean, that's like a sweet and savoury and. Uh, Sour and oof. yeah. <laughs> Come here for only advice, not cooking advice. Yeah, I'm I'm not a particularly good cook. I'll, I'll admit that. I think I was telling you guys about my kitchen. <laughs> I'll tell everyone about my kitchen. It's now finished anyway. So, just had the kitchen renovation finally finished. So, so yes, we can do more cooking stuff, and. Uh, We've uh, we've ordered some HelloFresh as well. I've seen in so many adverts on YouTube. Also, shout out if if you're watching on YouTube and you've got a HelloFresh advert on this video as well. I mean that's that'd be funny. But uh, yeah, we've we've ordered that to give that a go. So we'll find out, and then then maybe you know we can get a sponsorship, right? That's this what we want. <laughs> GT Fungus sponsored by HelloFresh. I mean, crazy stuff has probably happened. Uh, now, what do we do? Do we actually need to fill this up with water? How much have we lost? Um, where is... I mean, there's a nice... There's a water line here. Is this water line okay? I think so. As long as it's not jammed. Uh, got neither pizza nor pineapples, no. You, you could ask Arizia, you know? They say, Clay, you're going to add more content. We, we can petition some pizza. Maybe, um... Is it pepper bread or is it frost buns? You know, pepper bread. Um, so tomato is there? Bit of bar barbecue and pepper bread. Mm. Hot dog. That could be a hot dog. I don't know. Coming up with ideas here. New foods. Uh, I think this is an old line too. Let's get rid of that. Uh, right, how are we doing over here? 
what happened? Did I cancel something? I thought I did this. I, no, I definitely did do this. Oh no, sorry, it was up here. It's just a copy and I'm going mad, right. Okay, that didn't make its priority. Uh poor poisoning, so um suffocating. Magma show? Magma show, you better not die. You better not die on me. I'm I'm needing you to be my engineer. Come on, and also hurry up. <laughs> uh what's this? Get rid of this. I think we're growing bog buckets down here too again, which probably um probably help. Da -da -da. Uh oh, why isn't this why that's not done like that. Oh, the planting is going excellently. If <laughs> uh, that would be, we do a we we'll do a pineapple on pizza cooking uh, cooking video for uh, for the channel. We're we'll branching out. We'll do we we'll do viral cooking videos too. I don't, I, I don't know who wants that. Probably no one. Um, yeah. So if we load this one up, we can then deconstruct this and this. And we can do that and that and that. And no, that's going the wrong way. Come on, I really need to get them on this. This is going to stop this uh, opportunity for a second. Uh, what's going on down here? We fix this, we fix this. Hopefully this is flowing and we should be able to skim the petroleum out with the uh, with this filter and then that'll fix the issue. Uh, yeah, a bit annoying that one. Managed to get it uh, just caught in there somehow. It's an old line that I didn't uh, isolate properly. Uh, how are we on the uh, filling the fridge up? They're not doing it? Why is no one filling this fridge? Anyone? I wonder if there's a bug or something. Starless is still stuck in here. Um, we, m we might have to deconstruct, but there's there's three tons of oxygen per tile on here. <laughs> uh... Will we just debug the infrastructure for most dupes? <laughs> yeah. That's what this series is, Leo. This is just me de debugging terrible designs. Um, uh, we're going to deconstruct this and rebuild it. Let's see if we can do it. Um, there's not something weird with the permissions on it. Pause a sec just to get up here. Which one is it? Okay. Empty that. Uh, permission. Permissions on everyone. Okay. I feel like there's something dodgy going on with this rocket. Um, yeah, you guys are just keeping me company whilst we just uh, we just let this build. Uh, yeah, we need all this swept up. I don't know if they're actually doing it or what. I haven't been uh, watching. Okay, flip that. Oh. There's no play. Ah, thank you, boys. I need to see. So I need you guys to tell me obvious stuff because they both died and left their suits in. There we go. It's got cancel that. It's just a little field. Should have caught that one. Should have caught that one. So yeah, bit of an odd situation though, where they both died, and the rocket just came back by itself. Uh. It feels like the FPS is getting worse. I did see it drop down to four there. It kind of likes being further out, I think. I think it really... <laughs> there's, a, there's a game somewhere. This is this is the new uh, new Oni experience. So just like, you guys can just, just watch this corner. Uh, I don't, that doesn't actually help the FPS, so... <laughs> we won't do that. It'd be a pretty terrible stream as well. Is a is a tiny speck of only going on in the corner. Uh, copy that. Oh yeah, so that's back up and running. And uh, yeah, 
the we should be getting the petroleum out of this one i think is it all gone no, it's still a little bit in there everything's still flowing uh, this did get very hot hopefully this should um should chill down again although there's no uh I haven't like put uh, radiant pipes or something in there. So we could um, just help this chill a bit. Stick some radiant pipes in the in the doorways. Doorways are very conductive anyway. Plus, uh, use a bit of aluminium and it's super uh, super conductive, which is great. I mean, aluminium is almost as good as thermium. I didn't actually realise how good aluminium was until I double checked the numbers. Um, he what? Wait for me to find out. What have I built out of aluminium? Some of these blocks. Uh, the conductivity of aluminium is 205, and it's 220 for thermium. Um, yeah, I, I can't explain that. I think I covered it in the um, the tutorial byte as well on infinite storage, but it's pretty simple. Um, the the auto dispensers so they don't need any power, even though they have a power input. Um, and basically you just drop stuff in them. <laughs> it's quite simple actually. So you, you set these on um, sweep only and everything and then everything you sweep what they do is they just deliver it it just drops it onto this tile and then this tile just becomes the absolute mother load of everything where you just have tons and tons of stuff stored in one tile uh, and then if you use a two tile high um, pit like I'm doing Where's the decor overlay? F8. Um, the decor value here is kind of minus 1,000 almost. Um, but it only goes two tiles. So uh, the decor up here is bad because of the, uh, the heavy watt wire. But um, otherwise it's not getting affected by this. You can also, if you want, put a little bit of liquid in here. And then that will stop it off-gassing. There's currently some uh, something in there off-gassing. I don't know what it is. It looks like bleach stone to me. But there's actually no chlorine being created. Um... Yeah, it's just sweep only, so then everything you you ask them to sweep just ends up in there. Oh, well, everything non-liquid anyway. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. But it should, in theory, help. I mean, it, it, that's definitely a prevalent uh, theory in the community, is that sweeping everything onto one tile helps performance. Although, I've got to be honest, well, I haven't seen a notable uptick, but then I think there's multiple reasons why this is running slow. So that, that I think that's one big prevalent theory. The other one is gas flow. If you can avoid gas mixing, um, that is widely reported to help uh, to help as well. There's still quite a lot of gas in here because um, it's coming out this side. But the chlorine is now getting to space, which is useful. Oh. The game the game is struggling. The game is really struggling. I think our other rocket's back, and this now has food in, which is great. So I think we can go. We can go on this one, and hopefully not kill any more people. Uh, meanwhile, we're back with uh, back with the Wolframite, which is great, because we can now make a load more Thermium. And we need all the Thermium we can get, which is why we were desperately trying to get the Tungsten Volcanoes going, and... Uh, struggling. T... What's TPS? Something per second. Or do you mean FPS? Well, I've got. I mean, I've got my counter on. I know you guys can't see it, but I've got my um, my Nvidia overlay that's telling me what the FPS is, and it's five. It's 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 now a solid five FPS. Oh, I mean, you can see how slowly they're going. It does go a bit quicker if I take the overlay off. I'm, not, I'm back up to a whole six transactions. Right, I see. I see. Hmm. That tree <laughs> Uh. Right. Got food. Right, so now we've got food decaying over here. I think they're building... They're, they're making too much food. Uh... They're probably just eating it. They, is lettuce or bog jelly better? I have no idea which one's actually better. Make swampy delights. Make swampy delights. You know, get on it. Get something to do. 
Uh, just gotta keep an eye on the water supply. Thing like the Dyson Sphere program. The performance tools let you calculate, yeah, what's causing your lag, yeah. I, you do kind of get the feeling that Oni was never really op like properly optimized. Obviously, they must have done some optimization during their development loops, but I know. And, and and you've also got to wonder, right? I mean, think about it from a dev point of view. How many bases get to be this big? It's got to be very few. You know, if you go on the um, go on the Steam achievements. Hold on, let me see if I can uh, bring this up. I'll give you some some accurate numbers. So the um, the global achievement stats, right? Here we go. So, um, uh, what have we got? What have we got? I'm trying to find a useful one here. So, honorary doctorate, which is unlock the entire research tree, has been unlocked by two percent of players, right? Um, and then the so the home sweet home imperative and the great escape. Uh, great escape is a temporal tail one, isn't it? That's one percent. So, so, you know, 99% of players don't get to the temporal tear. And I, I I know there are, actually, I think there's quite a few players that don't really play with the space bit too much, um, either because they don't know about it or they're afraid about it or, you know, they, they're they just happy playing with the, you know, the, the asteroid underground stuff. So they don't actually go near space. I'm pretty sure I've seen betas that are like, you know, a thousand cycles plus with where they just haven't even got to the surface. Or if they have got to surface, they haven't launched rockets or anything, which I find a bit odd, to be honest. Um, I understand if you if you don't know how to do rockets, you know, I'm, I will criticise anyone for not knowing stuff. Of course, it's there's a lot to learn in this game. That's fair enough. But to to be that good enough to to get the rest of the game and then just not want to try rockets, I don't get it. I don't get it. Or be scared of it. It's you know, if I were there, I'd be. I'd be trying to do rockets. Um, I just like, you know, sort of about the trying and the learning and the failing and the learning it better next time. So, I, I, yeah. I going to say, there's nothing wrong with that approach, of course. If uh, if that's you, then uh, please don't think I'm criticising anyone. I'm just, uh, that doesn't fit with my, uh, my gameplay style, so. Uh, right. Magma show is almost there. Yeah, and this, I think this is going to take a long time to sweep, to be honest. There's going to be a lot of sweeping going on. You just kind of got to let them, uh, let them run. The problem is as well, it's on the other side of the old base. So they've got to like carry all the way over here and there's no tubes or anything. And I'm pretty sure only four of them can do it at a time. So it doesn't matter that we've got 80 dupes. So I can only move four things at once. Um... Because once the um, the errand goes to the auto dispenser, no one else can use it. So that's why I think this could take a while, um, unless we. Well, there are some tricks where you basically just delete the stuff underneath and let it fall. I mean, that that wouldn't work here because we'd have to delete all that. But you could just delete a couple of tiles and try and drop it at the bottom. It's definitely a strategy. Um, but yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. I'm glad I've given them more carrying. That helps. Uh, right, now the sat uh, 15 with Wolf and Ruby is a go. So we're going back over to the cold planetoid and hopefully we won't kill both of our pilots on the way back this time. That would be good. Um, right. So we'll see on that. Uh, meanwhile, we're on 92 dupes total. Uh, and I think we started on 93. <laughs> um... Probably by the end of the stream, by the end of this episode, we might be on 94. Which uh, means we've taken three hours and three episodes to go up by one dupe. Ugh, excuse me why I just uh, slammed my head into the nearest wall. I think our biggest enemy on dupe count is time. Just getting enough time. The cycle timer moves fast, but the tubes don't get to do much. Mm. Well, I I mean, I've, by just counting, so I'm running at about 10 cycles an hour, um, FYI. Now, the you know, one-time speed should be 10 cycles.
cycles an hour. Is that right? No, sorry, 10 minutes. It should be six cycles an hour for one time speed. So, um, it can't really, yeah, I can check that. So I should be on, um, I'm on slightly less than one and a half, to, no, slightly over one and a half times speed. Um, the colony errands, yeah. I mean, it's only on store, the ticket for the last site. So 785 added and 609 removed. I completed 609 errands last cycle. <laughs> And 230 of them was store. Uh, there's a lot of construction supply. Uh, is it that few? I mean, it's um, what's it? Eight, it's 90 dupes. Uh, you have thousand. What the hell? I don't know how you manage that? Maybe you got shorter runs than me because say that a lot of the storing they're doing over there. So I, I don't think I've broken a thousand though. I haven't really broken a thousand anywhere. Uh, what I do have locked down though is the power. Right, my power, my power generation, <laughs> seventy-four thousand kilojoules. Uh, we're making. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know what that is. What is that in in seconds? That's uh, seven hundred and. 50 kilowatts? That doesn't... No, that can't be right. No, um... 125 kilowatts, right? I'm just, I'm doing the math in my head, so forgive me if uh, I'm off by that. I think if you divide that by 600, you get 125. 123, yeah, okay. So, uh, you don't need per second kilowatts, it's, it's joules per second. So, um. Yeah, 123 kilowatts is the average power output of my base. That's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Right, um, athletics. We'll take we'll take a meep. Right, yeah, easy. That's a, I think that's a common mistake. Uh, um, 123 though. That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, did we get any pips in here? We didn't uh, wrangle any, did we? So where is a pip? Where have they gone? There's one. There's, I see, there's quite a lot there, actually. Let's just uh, wrangle us a pip. Uh, we'll knock it in here. And also, we need to stick some things in. Was I using... No, I was using Joya Seeds, I think. It did occur to me. Um, I could just use... Um, I couldn't use thimble reeds in here. I know, except they're three high, so actually that wouldn't even work. Okay. Uh, in fact, they need to be one high. Uh, so, what seeds have I got? Because I, the joys are the easiest. Um, where are the joys? Joy seeds. We've got 97 of them. Okay. I was slightly worried about running out of joy seeds, but <laughs> that was clearly, clearly unfounded. Um, let's stick some of those in. Okay, okay. Oh, doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. Right. We'll do that. We'll grab a pip and we'll try and get that planted. Um, I see some dupes are already sleeping in here, which is fine. Um, there's no access through these doors because the, there are no suits. But uh, they can come up and down and go out through these ones. So that's uh, that's all fine. Um, okay. We're also going to have to then work on the next uh, layer of spawn. I might need a gap in all honesty because the way that this is uh the way this is already snaking makes me a bit worried that I might not even be able to do it. I think we can. I think we're okay. But we're gonna end up with a nice I mean I like the gas piping on this map. The gas piping is very neat. Um This is a bit of a mess up here that I made, but uh um yeah. Oh no, yeah, I mean I think this is you know, it's neat. It's organized. I just I hope we've got enough space down here. I think we do. I think we do. We, but we might be tight. Should be fine. Uh, right, gotta keep an eye on our guys to coddle in, which they are on their way, and then we can hopefully get the get the tungsten out soon too. Um, these toilets are out of order, which is good because uh, uh, this uh, 
the water sieve has no power, so that would not be a clever idea. How are we on uh, vacuuming this out? We're down to the milligrams over here. Um, to be honest, Leo, no, I don't because I I don't trust those. I don't, tr Steve. Steve, what are you playing at? Okay, you can get out over here, right? Or not? Get out over here. Can they breathe over here? Yeah, you can get up. This is sketchy, guys. This is very sketchy. I do not trust these two. Um, now, yeah, so the partially submerged, I, I'm, I worry about control on that. I don't just want to make infinite oxygen. I want to make enough oxygen for the tubes I've got. Um, and I, that's why I just like the Rodriguez's. They're, they're, they're easy. They're self-controlled. They never break. Uh, you know, I trust them fully. That's why I build them. You know, I just set them down and completely forget about them and I can get on with them um, forgetting about more important things <laughs> and killing dupes in, in other fun ways and not that way. Uh, so, yeah, that's my that's my logic. Take it or leave it. Um, okay. Right, come on, guys. We've got to get all of this, uh, all this mock up. There's so much to clear. Okay. Yeah, food's going up and up and up. I mean, we should probably sacrifice some of this to the tree. Um, or we could if the tree weren't, you know, completely overheated and, like, dying. Um, interesting, there's... This is just a load of steam in here. Um, you probably just need to vacuum that out, too. 300. Okay, this was 5 kilograms when I checked, I think, near the start of the stream. Now we're down to down to 3 down there. I feel like this magma is not moving anymore, really, which is a bit annoying. I mean, we probably should get down here. Um, also, I assume these tungsten volcanoes are actually producing. Is that... What is that? Tungsten, that is 120 tungsten. And there's 12 tons of tungsten there, too. Okay, cool. There's actually, that's already made quite a bit. This one is what, dormant? Oh, quick save, guys. Quick save, bear with us. Is this one dormant? Oh, is this one overpressured? This, this one's overpressured with steam, so that one's not going to make anything. No, this one's obviously overpressured. Uh, it's, uh, buried, actually. Technically, that's buried. This is the key tile, remember. It's the uh, two up, one to the right. So this is buried. That won't produce anything. Um, but yeah, we should get over there, really, and uh, sort this planetoid out. I think we're probably in a position to do that. But anyway, we're focusing on Coldlin now. We're just going to grab... The, the theme is try and steal as much uh, Wolframite and Tungsten as we can possibly steal from anywhere. That is the goal. Uh, so I can, in fact, struck it. Switch to it so you don't pump O2's bombs attached to them. I see, I see. I think I think the problem as well, though, with that approach on my base is it's just too big. I'm, I really don't think the gas flow would be enough to diffuse it. Like, this area is huge, and this is... This is three living segments, right? So, it, so what I've done is, for anyone that's not caught this, I've copy-pasted, effectively, a block, which is... 48 dupes worth of living area. So that's six bedrooms, uh, a bathroom, kitchen, two dining halls, and then some um, utility rooms, plus the Atmo suits, of course. So this is a this is one living block for 48 dupes. Um, I've got three of them so far. I want eight or nine. So as you can imagine, that's going to go <laughs> down here. Um I don't think you could gas that naturally. You need the, the gas pumps. Uh, gas flow is a bit slow in this game. So it, it just won't work so well. Uh, right, I think... I think they are actually successfully sweeping this. Um, it feels a bit slow, but I think they are making progress. Which is good. Unfortunately, there's some nuclear waste here. Which probably won't go away, but... Anyway... 
Um, from a vacuum point of view, though, it's not great. I mean, we are that this left side is doing well. Um, is there anything to make sure there's nothing off gassing over here because that could cause problem. So the left side's going to right, but this section is kind of it's um it's coming through here and going up. Um, in fact, what I wonder is, can we? Well, we can't. Well, we can mop that. Ah, we can mop that. Why have we got steam out here? That's cold. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Uh, we need to get this to space, don't we? Hmm. Okay. So we've got. No, it's not a vacuum. That's polluted oxygen. We've got this coming up the top. We really just need this vacuumed out. The, my thing is, if we drop that, I mean, this is... Hmm. Do they have supplying to... Uh, yeah, pretty much all the dupes do. So, as a tip for anyone that's not caught it, I mean, I pretty much give all of my dupes supplying to... The 62 of them out of uh, 93 have got it. Two-thirds of them have it. And the ones that don't are probably specialised into other stuff. Um, yeah, it's it's the most important skill, I'd say, supplying one and two. They're, they're just the best, and they're the best for all dupes. Um, so you can just, you can get one every dupe and it's always good. Just the, the 800 kilo carrying is so useful. Otherwise it takes some ages to move anything. Um, cool, but we are just, we're just emptying the map onto one, uh, one tile. The thing is, they've got to come out here, go up here, go round... Ah, see, they've got to come all the way up here, around here. This is this is the thing. This is even um, they can't even come across the top. This is probably a, a miss on my part, isn't it? Um, what I should be doing, I think, I should be speeding this up. Speed up pathing. This is another one to uh, to do it. Uh, we can liquid lock this if we pour a second bit of liquid in here. It'll just stop this from uh, from going, and then we can. Uh, that. Who died? What? Travaldo suffocated. Oh dear. Where's Travaldo? Huh? I don't see him. Does anyone see him? Where's he gone? Where? Where is he? I don't see him. I mean, this is all part. Uh, this is all passable. So I don't. I don't understand what's going on. Oh, uh, you got... Oh, yeah, you always sweep. It's okay. That'll, that'll do it. I still don't know where he's gone, unless they've already picked up his body. And, uh, and shuffled him off. I'm, I'm running out of graves. This is not a good sign. Um, oh, also, I still don't know where he died, or how he died. I mean, I can't see his body. Can you guys see it? I mean, I've I like I've put in hydroponic tiles where they can't get across, so the, all of this is pathable. I don't know. I swear these dupes are trolling me now. Well, it looks like we're going to end the stream on exactly the number of uh, dupes that we started with. Yeah. <laughs> T today was a massacre. I think we will have lost nine dupes. That that's what my maths is saying. Ah, uh, not ideal. How, how did we lose so many? So we have, we've definitely had some breathing problems on the second planetoid. Um, strip mining is dangerous when they can't think quickly enough to get themselves out of it. Um, we lost someone... No, we lost someone this planetoid because of the dam... Um, because of the dam settings on the, uh, the checkpoints. So they need to be on vacancy only. And they start on always. So that killed a few of the dupes there. Then we lost two on the cold planetoid, um, doing, uh, well, running out of oxygen. Uh, one ran out of oxygen, run out, one ran out of food. <laughs> those were kind of on me. I'll, I'll take the cop for those two. Um, uh, yeah, just, uh, it's a lot of miscellaneous deaths, really. Not ideal. Okay, right.
the, the lag is not helping. I'm pretty sure the lag is culpable for a few of these deaths. Not entirely my fault. Some of it's my fault. Anyway. We get some so if we get some petroleum in here, if we liquid lock this properly, uh we can open this up. Because what I don't want to do is is get gases flowing from here, which is the base entrance, because there's obviously a lot of oxygen here. I don't want this to flow through into this um this area here, which is effectively making our vacuums for us. So if we liquid lock it like this, then uh it'll speed up because currently they're just running all the way up and down and round. We can just cut that across. And uh, now then the next thing is in order to get over here, I think they're having to go down round like that. So uh, what we could also do is try and speed our way across here, right? So if this, um, this is already liquid locked, but if we pop that on there like that, right? And we did that like that. If we locked this in here, we could um, we could then open this area up as part of the base. Effectively, um, this would be would be able to be pressurized. Um, although I do hate the fact that there's still natural stuff here. I kind of I really want to dig this, but it is pr providing a useful uh, a useful barrier. That's the thing. If I strip mine it, it'll. Uh, It'll hurt us more than it'll help, even though it'll look better. Right, we got petroleum here. Okay, it's just replaced the uh, water. That's not good. Oil. I want something that will sit on it, not replace it. Although there might be too little here because it's... Uh, um, because it just gets displaced. We'll see. Well, let's try some oil so we can get... We'll just play the game of uh, stick as many liquids on here as possible we can until uh two of them stack there's some visco gel will be really super helpful about now uh so let's see we will get on with the um the frozen planetoid and then uh, uh, uh number two we can uh try and sort that uh tungsten and the tree out that's definitely going to be uh the plan for next time I mean, this is this has just stopped, so we really need to sort that out. Uh, do we have any oil? We don't have any oil, do we? Uh, what do we have? Do we have anything? Anything we can use? Brine? Try some brine? I don't know. Just throw liquids at it till it, till it works. Plan. I mean, we could also actually build like a proper. Do a, do a step and just make it look like that, but uh, that would have been too easy, wouldn't it? Uh, we'll see. We'll we'll try we'll try the brine first. If not, we'll um I'll just make a little divot and uh, look at that way. Look at the normal way. Brian doing silly stuff with bottle empties. Right. So yes, unfortunately, my goal of getting a hundred dupes in has been incredibly thwarted. Um. So not ideal. Oh, let's open that up. Magma Show must have the engineering skill by now. Yes, yes he does. Right. Also priorities, Magma Show, you are building. I'm gonna pause this because I'm not getting anything done on that. Magma, 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 building, building, building. Boom. Right. Priority, top priority, get that done. Please. I think it's gonna unlock Yeah, multiple uh multiple conveyors cool 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 and uh, when we have a gym i i don't bother with gyms leo generally to be honest i just kind of like send them out they can uh they can train they train on the job um yeah i don't have a major problem with them doing that uh we planting pip planting what have we got pips Uh, you're free to plant, Mr. Pip. Uh, as long as, can you do that in order? One, two. Does he have to do this one first? Hmm. We might have to do this in order, I'm not sure.
Suffocating poison. Poison. Watch it. <coughs> Need to open the door to build on the roof. Hold on a minute. Oh. Possibly. Possibly. Or, here's, here's another idea. Where you just knock that corner off. Uh, this is reachable because this is only three high, so they can reach that. Let's do it this way. Rather than um, send some dupes out to suicide in the uh, in the other way. Uh, okay. Oh, oxygen's fine. We'll keep an eye on this. Uh, how are we doing? Okay, I think we're digging down here. Right, pair of them. Pair of them are just uh, digging through this bit. I mean, this is the thinking time. So if you're just joining me, or you haven't seen this, it, this is now the state of how long it takes the game to think about what the next thing to do is. And there's a dig command right in front of them. They obviously have to do. Right. And th this is my defence as to why they died. Because they got stuck somewhere, like, without oxygen or something. Then they take this long to work out how not to die. And then they die. This is on three times speed as well. I mean, for what that's even worth at this point. It's, oh, it's painful. This is painful. It shouldn't be this unoptimized. <laughs> Next direction is the... Yeah, it's taking a while to work that out. That's the problem. Uh, right, yeah, I... Okay. I, I didn't really need to send aluminium over here, did I? That's got a bit of overkill, but... I can just use the iron. But we'll try. Um, okay, so it looks like this has been planted. Um, this is hip, isn't it? We planted one. Now the question is, is that going to stop him planting here? It might do. No, it shouldn't do, because actually that one's more than five out, so... So we should be able to plant here. And then... Yeah, we just can't plant this one. If he plants this one, we have to dig it. Okay, excellent. Look at that. Pip knew exactly which one to plant in the right order. So we get that one. Then we take that out, put the box one in. So now these two should be fine by themselves. Don't need to do anything. Uh, right, how are we getting on over here? We are actually making good progress on the sweep. So we've managed to get a lot of it. Um, oh, how was I? I was emptying brine over here. See, th this is also what I do. I completely forget what's going on. Cool. This kind of worked, I think. So we've got some brine on top of some uh, petroleum. So we can open that up and then the gas won't flow. Um, yeah, Rizzi, well, I, I did the maths right at the start, which is feeling like a long time ago at this point. But the, um, the maths said on this planetoid alone, so this was this classic size, um, 400 something like that in that region the whole cluster system about 600 and that's on obviously on oxygen basically oxygen limiting from water uh so yeah that those are the numbers i've got i mean i'd really love to get to 400 i think 600 is going to be a stretch i think 400 is going to be a stretch anyway just in terms of pc performance but um we'll see that damn pip gone. How does the pip get up here? Oh damn, the door's open. Uh, is he gonna wander back or do I need to rebuild this? It's a lot of mass. It uh it's not actually that hard. So if you just add up um basically so you come to the number, look at all the water sources on the on the map. So do get the average calculated output from uh all the water and steam geysers uh, and then you add on two kilos per second for every three uh, oil wells that's from a sour gas boiler that was assumption and then you can add 10 percent to that if you recycle the p into oxygen so actually you can get an extra tenth of a dupe just from their own p so um yeah 10 percent of these dupes are breathing in purely other dupes recycled P. That is that is the maths for that. Um, but yeah, if you if you do that and you use um, use tools not included, which is of course extremely helpful, 
Um, it gives you all of that information. Yeah, the mass isn't actually that difficult. Uh, now, I don't think this is going to be plantable if this one is planted. Um, in fact, it's definitely not. So, I'm going to put that ladder in there. Yeah, well, I don't think it's a maybe, Arisia. I um, I think the evidence is right here. I mean, we're we're coming up to a hundred. I I could have got a hundred this um, this stream if I hadn't murdered so many of them. But we we have murdered them. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, if we want to go to four hundred, it's uh. Ooh, I tell you what, I so I think Leo, I think we might have fast track disabled. I wonder if that's actually tanking the performance right now. Because remember, from the all achievement speed run, it crashed and it turned it off. Um, I think it might be left off. So actually, that might be hurting my frame rate right now. Um, so apologies, that's my bad. Um, from that other stream, I'll make sure to turn it on for next time. But we're coming up to the end of the stream anyway, so um, I'll leave it for now. But yes, that's. Uh, Oh, that's true, actually. That's true, Leo. So maybe I haven't done that. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Well, I'll double check anyway. I'll be 100% sure because we've, we've got to get every single frame we can uh, we can get out of this thing. Um, so. Uh, but yeah, okay. Maybe. Maybe six is the best, the best we can get. Uh, cool. But yeah, the... Um, uh, this was the whole... Uh, this whole infrastructure nonsense is from uh, this is from when we uh, had to build the uh, the liquid lock to um, to get that going. This is an absolute mess of wires. I think this. Got to fix all this up. This was just to put doors in and stuff. Vacuum this out, and then that created the uh, vacuum seal here because you don't want the heat coming through that. Um, and if you want to know how to do that, I did cover that in the tutorial bite for liquid locks. A demonstration on that. Right, so we'll we'll rebuild this and then basically get rid of all these lumps and bumps and messiness. Um, and then uh, the tubes can uh, can walk around. Uh, yeah, shovels. So well, the thing is though, Leo, I ran out of um, regolith. So I did. Um, this is my shovels here. They they are here. Um, this was as many as I got until I entirely ran out of regolith on the planetoid. And this is a classic sized one. Obviously there's no meteor showers, like the base game, to refill the old regolith. Um, but, uh, who's suffocating? Marie? Maybe we could not suffocate guys, have we thought of that one? Just, just, a, just an idea. Um... Cool, 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 cool. No, I can't. Anyway, sod this. We'll ignore that. Cancel that. Um, but what I do need to do is put a shipping uh, solid, solid port loader. I'm just going to stick this out here and a conveyor and a that and some power. Like I said I don't have a mechatronic storage. All right. Tell you what. Um, how hot's the iron anyway? Iron is. 800 degrees. That's pretty, pretty toasty. Uh, we'll leave the iron behind. Oh, I caught my surprise. Thank you for the follow. Muck DJ Cookies. That's a, that's a cool name. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what, what on earth that, uh, how that goes. Scottish DJ who loves cookies. That's, that's what I'm taking from that. Thank you very much. We, we're closing on 300 followers, sir. Slowly, slowly growing the, uh, the Twitch community. <laughs> so welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, was it was that louder than normal? That, that, or have I done something with the settings? That that seemed pretty loud. Uh, right. Um, what I should say as well, if there's anyone that's not um, that's not in the colony that hasn't got a dupe named after them, um, then let me know because you're more than welcome to have a dupe. Uh, same goes for YouTube, if you're a YouTube viewer. Um, I don't think Arisia actually has one. I don't know if you want... I've overloaded. 
And we've overloaded this because they're not building it. Okay. So that that that's like really not good. Right. That's that's really not good. We cannot overload somewhere. Because we could overload in a vacuum seal and that would be super bad. Uh, right, uh, these are both... Uh, actually, Drell is not too bad. Hmm. Well, say, you can use the priority system. I'm sure you know that, yeah. You basically just want to prioritise the ladders. Scalding. Meanwhile, scalding. Where's she scalding from? What is this? Oh. Is this the iron that's... Uh, Still running through here. So what we should do, I think, is just pull this out of here. So what happens is when it goes through the tile, it radiates a lot of heat. This is very hot though. Hmm. I have to have a think about that. There's only one to nine. That yeah, that's true, but that's quite a lot of numbers. I don't know what you're doing that you need so many more. Okay, we we can have a lot of scalded tubes, aren't we? Uh, do we have a hospital in here? No, we don't. That's not good. All right, we better build some uh, triage cots. This is this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, well, it was so. It's the um, the this has constantly been pulling iron from down here, um, through the base. But um, yeah, it's when it, I think it's when it hits the tiles, it turns the tiles really hot. Because the uh, conduction is really high. Uh, now we might kill some dupes here with this. We'll see. Because they seem to just love running through this area over and over and over until they, they're going to scold to death. And I have no triage cots built. And they're thinking about building them at some point. And now we've already got incapacitated. We don't get them. And they'll think about getting them to the triage cot for a while. Yeah, maybe we should build it. Maybe we should go grab the guys. Who's it? Should we? Okay, they are assigned. Maybe we should go get them. They're thinking. Maybe we should go rescue them. Possibly. Have a think about it, guys. Let, let me know what you, you, you come up with. Good. So Ed has just gone to do that, and then she's got slime lung, so she's just stopped to breathe. Meanwhile, leaving Jean to basically die on the floor. But still recovering breath. Yeah, this this was the perfect choice for helping Jean. Okay, she's just thrown Jean on. Oh, there's a cot over here. Okay. It, right. That that seems to have been it. So. Uh, no idea. Anyway, we've got more uh, more of those. Hopefully this heat dissipates. Uh, which I think it is doing now. And we should be fine. Should be fine. Right. Meanwhile, we've avoided killing even more dupes. Which is not helping our cause. Um, how are we going? We've still got some vacuuming to do over there. And uh, this over here. The sweeping's gone well though, actually. The sweeping has been a success, I would say. Um, what I do need to do probably is uh, close this up. Uh, let's close it up like that. Um, I'm okay with the oil being in there. The... Uh, the ladder will have to come out of here and... We'll need some heavy watt conductive on this, which won't melt. And we will not be using aluminium. That's a bad idea. What's the melting point of gold? Does anyone have that off the top of their head? What's gold? It's more than 700. Is it more than 1,000? I'm sure it's more than 1,000. We'll find something made out of gold. Or we can stick it in here. Where is it? Gold. Always let's try and click on stuff. Gold, solid. Should I reconnect the power line? Oh, no, probably not. Yeah. I think you boys need to always remind me of stuff. Yeah, that probably was about to cause a huge problem somewhere else. Um, okay, let's have this out to... Okay, 
Uh, right. What was gold? A thousand sixty-three. So, so gold should hold up in a sour gas boiler. Um, all being well, so we can we can go for some gold. Let's do that. Not use aluminium. Um, seems good to me. Okay. Can we get this stuff out? Oh, there's some of it we won't get. Oh, whoopsie. What did I click on there? No idea. The poison eaters is my, um, my second pair of eyes that I desperately need because <laughs> these eyes get distracted with uh, whatever's, whatever's on the screen. Uh, right, I'm guessing there's no copper off for that and that's why that's sat there like that for ages. Um... I'm guessing there's also a um, a joint plate to come here, I think. Did I root it out the top? On the others, I rooted it out the top. Well, I think we have to root it out the side, but that's not a problem. Um, this is all built. The temp shifts are in. Um, Gas-wise, we have a lot of gas out here. Um, how's our, our new pathing going? I think it's a success. The dupes are running across here and across here. So we're all happy with that. That's looking good. Get rid of that. So yes, we've, we've definitely sped up the uh, path to the uh, auto dispensers, which is great. <laughs> uh, yeah, we definitely need to hire you boys. Need to. Right. Um, that's the end of the cycle. I think we've pretty much hit the end of the stream. So... Um, I'll do my normal good old wrapping up for the episode as well. Um, who's on reachable food? I don't like that. Wolf has managed to trap himself. I'll make sure he gets himself out. Uh, what have we got there? Is that buildable? Granite. Granite, excellent. Right, I'm avoiding that, uh, that mess. So, uh, we built the third um, sour gas boiler. This was mostly planned. It's not entirely finished, but it is uh, mostly there. A little bit to do. Oh, in fact, that shouldn't be gold, should it? I'm pretty sure that's going to do something weird. Um, we'll get this turned on at some point. It's going to be a little while, though, because we need to make the, the third um, natural gas generator area, and that's going to need a lot of thermium. Uh, we're currently on 32 tonnes, and we are uh, desperately trying to recover some from Coldalin. I'll touch on that in a second. Um, so there's going to be another big project on that, and we'll probably need to relocate the... Thimble reeds at the same time. Um, up here we've done nothing really. Uh, we have added the third segment to the base. So this takes us from 96 to 144 uh, dupes on this one planetoid potentially. I don't think our water supply will stretch to that as it stands. So definitely a bit more work to do on that uh, boiler wise. The uh, mixed brick has, um, uh, has been expanded and we've been vacuuming this out so we're down into the micrograms which is good so a little bit more time on that this will vacuum and then we can drop in from above and uh, um, use these ranches for more slicksters because there's a lot of carbon dioxide we decided the 22 ranches we have already is not enough and we needed another four so we'll pop those in which is great um see the petroleum boilers quietly uh, chugging away Nothing else really down here on planetoid number two. Um, we have been continuing the wild planting, so the amount of lettuce uh, continues to uh, grow. And we also have sorted out the uh, the infinite food storage. That was a bit of a sticking point, um, but that's now fine. So we should have enough food in there, although surprisingly the lettuce is quite down. Um, yeah, body count's been quite high. <laughs> Uh, I was really hoping to hit 100 dupes this uh, this stream. Unfortunately, I think what we've managed to do is take um, take nine and kill nine. So uh, yeah, that that yeah that that's not good. <laughs> that's not been good. Um, we've lost them to a variety of things. A lot of it lag. Some of it's negligence on my part. Better one, better the other. You know. Um, so we'll have to try and be a bit careful as we keep going. But um, the main thing is, I think the, the you know the infrastructure needs to keep going to keep up with the um, the supply. So uh, there's a lot more graves now that have been filled. 
Uh, and then the last thing really is just on the, um, the frozen planetoid. So I think we've pretty much dug out everything I asked them to dig. Um, so we're going to try and recover as much wolframite as we can. So there's 60 tons to grab and there's more iron we can grab. And that will be steel and thermium for us. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll fill it up here and then uh, take a load home. Uh, in fact, we can uh, just do that, grab that. So we'll fill both of these up just with uh, 20 tons of wolframite and take it home. And then we'll probably have another trip on there to grab the rest of it and some of the iron. And we can make a load of steel and thermium. Then, uh, right, the uh, the last planet we haven't done anything with, but it is slowly um, cooling, is the, uh, the marshy planetoid. So at some point we need to get this tree out. We need to get this properly vacuumed and uh, get at the tungsten volcano. So... There's a lot to do. The game's playing very slowly because of the um, just the amount of stuff it has to simulate. Um, but that's where we are. So hopefully you can uh, join us next time in the next episode. And uh, thanks for watching.